mistake I did so that you can avoid these mistakes in the Forex market. You need to realize that when I teach you something, I have gone through the same thing, made losses, had pain, so that God can, he can reveal more knowledge to me so that when I come here to share, it is coming from my heart. Sometimes we don't teach things that we learn from other people. We teach things from our own mistakes. And this segment, it will be very emotional. Why? Because I'm reminding myself how I used to trade. It's not out of ignorance. It was out of not having enough knowledge. And you know, when you trade without know, knowing that you're doing wrong, uh, there is no hope for you. But when you trade knowing that at support, this is what I will do. At resistance, this is what I'll do. This is what the market do. This is the pattern that, that gives me, that makes me profitable. At least if you make mistakes, you will always build on your strategy. Now in this segment, I want to share with you, I'll be sharing with you mistakes I did so that you can avoid in Forex. In this lesson 33, we will talk about Euro AUD. That uh, these days when I used to trade in the market, mind you, for me, I attempted everything that people were posting on YouTube and it never worked for me. So I had to go to a 21 day fasting to ask the Holy Spirit to kindly help me to gain the knowledge. I don't need to go on YouTube to learn. You can teach me. Like that was my mantra. Like God, you gave Solomon wisdom when he was sleeping. You can still give me wisdom of this Forex market. And God did that. So when I look back at the trades that I took, wow. I'm just, I'm just thanking God. I'm just thanking God that you will not take the same mistakes. You will not do the same mistake. You will not think the same way. Because trust me, when you feel frustrated in the market, God is trying to show you something. When maybe you lose something, God is about to reward you. The Bible says that I will double what you have lost. I will increase you. So that sometimes when you lose in thousands, you're meant to earn in thousands. When you lose in millions, you're meant to earn in millions. So when you lose in this Forex market, just know you're not losing. You're being, it's like a storehouse. Everything that you lose, it is in a storehouse. Once you crack the code, it will be released. So I opened my chart very like innocently when I was trading and I would, the first thing I would spot is my resistance. And I want to show you how I used to trade so that you can know where I'm coming from. So I used to trade, I mark my resistance and I would point out my support. For me, by that time, I knew how support breaks. So I knew if the market breaks at a support, I sell back to, to the next support. So that was my strategy. I didn't know much. But I still knew about patterns. So I knew if this market has to sell, I have to use a pattern of selling, which is um, number one, pattern of selling is a double, double top. That is the number one pattern. Number two of selling is ranging channel break at support. And the other one is inverted cup and handle. So for me, I know ah, if I want to sell, I need to see th these three patterns, more so breaking of at support. Of course, you don't want to buy when the support is broken. So I, I have that understanding, but you see, I had not gained enough knowledge. So yes, daily had confirmed a sale. And this is this um like these were my thoughts. If I, I was told to analyze again, I'll do better. And um, that's what I'm showing you. So, so support has BOS. So that gives me a one reason for me to do what to sell. So I needed more reason even to go on weekly. So what happened when I went on the weekly time frame? When I went on the weekly time frame. And I was trying to check what is really happening on the weekly time frame. Uh, I found out that on the weekly, I have a possible double top. So you can see this is, um, I can put the, the line here at the highest week. 
and the other one at the body so that you can see had it activated. So guys, you can see, for me, when I flip on the weekly, it was just suggesting sell, sell. Like I knew for sure this market is gonna sell. Why? I have a double top and this is my double bottom, not my double bottom, this is my neck neckline. And I needed to mark my half. So that is what I would see. You see, daily has convinced me to sell. Weekly, now it is convincing me to sell. So, and if I check uh, on the daily, the double top head RBS. So by that time, mind you, by that time, I didn't know about RBS. So it's just that right now I'm noticing the market had RBS. So if I was even trading with RBS, it would be an added advantage. Now, I have a double top. I have a half neckline. Market, uh, if I had attempt to apply WBB, what is this candle? What do you think this candle had done? This candle had given us a bearish end gap. Can you see, guys, when you're trying to trade and the sellers, are the, the market makers want you to think of an of a way, a certain way, they'll give you everything. So for me, everything was, was suggesting bearish angle. So everything was suggesting sell, bearish angle. And if I, if I really observed by the time I was, because I didn't enter immediately this angle uh, came to be, I entered after one week. That's when I realized, you know, the way you open a chart and you're like, oh, last, uh, like a week ago, we had a previous candle that is very showing up and the market attended to sell and it has formed a dragonfly and I never even paid attention of this candle. Trust me, I never paid attention. And you see, dragonfly suggests that the market is gonna either go up or something. So I never even paid attention on the dragonfly. So the dragonfly, first of all, was my first warning. So I want to show you the warnings that I ignored. And you see, when I tell you that when you're doing analysis, yes, first start with market structure. Start with market structure. So I want us to agree that there are so many things that I ignored. So we are starting with the market structure. And then number two, we go to price action. And then number three, we go to what? Forex pattern. So what I did, I started with the that and forgot everything else. So for me, I was so glued with the Forex pattern. I didn't pay attention on price action. I didn't pay attention on market structure. And you see, this is how I used to trade. That's what I'm saying. If you see me trade and analyze well, it has been a process of pain, <laughs> a process of self-realizing, a process of passion, so for me, I didn't know about market structure or price action. For me, I was like, does it have a double top? Does it have a double bottom? Has it broken support to give me a ranging channel? Like that's what I knew. That's what I knew. I didn't know any other thing apart from pattern. Now, the, the first red flag was the price action of the previous candle. So, you know, I'm preparing to enter. A new week has come. I'm preparing. On Monday, I was preparing to sell. And the previous candle was a dragonfly telling me that this market uh, sell is, is 10%. It is not going to sell anytime soon. It can sell, but it will be a 50-50 chance. And then let's try to do the market structure of this pattern. Uh, of this uh, trade. So the market structure was a very strong bullish market. Very strong bullish, you can see. So it is either I would have put that trend line for me to say if they break now, sell has taken over. And because this is a double top on an uptrend, again, I didn't know double top on an uptrend, it is not easy to trade. Why? Double tops make the market sell, uptrend make the market buy. So you see, I have ignored a double top on an uptrend, not even ignoring, I didn't know. There is the ignoring part and there is the not knowing part. And that's why the word of God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Sometimes you don't know. Sometimes it's you don't know. You you complete completely not aware of everything is happening around you. So I didn't know double tops on double on an uptrend are hard to trade. 
I didn't know that this was a, a dragonfly suggesting uh, like this market might start buying. And then when it come to market structure again, I depended on weekly. I never flipped on monthly to check what is monthly saying. So let's go to monthly and because you cannot analyze market structure from weekly. You have to start from higher time frame. So even another mistake was Hey, I had so many mistakes. So many, the mistake was the market structure. Let me just reduce the size. So I didn't do higher time frame, higher time frame analysis, higher time frame analysis. Another mistake I did, I didn't know double top on uptrend hard to trade. I never recognized the dragonfly. So the dragonfly candlestick suggests a buy and I'm hoping to sell. So when I flipped on the monthly, later on when the trade went, I, it went, it, it blew my account by that time. That's when I came back to realize, oh, what had happened? Guys, can you notice that the same double top that I am entering with, it is on, also on the monthly. So right now, there's no way I can trade such a pattern. Right now, I know better. So here in the mistakes, the double top that I was hoping to trade was on two time frame, which is, not, is against my rules. Double top was on two time frame. So I was not... I was not supposed to sell in the first place. Like that was the final thing to tell me not to sell. Double top was on two time frame. So that one, it was like, this was the highlight. This was the highlight guys. Double top being on two time frame was the highlight. Why? Because I would have waited for the market to engulf. You see, this market to tell me it has engulfed, it had to engulf that green candle but you see when now you check it on the weekly you are being lied that it has engulfed but initially if this market has to sell it has to engulf that green candle so when you go to weekly you have an engulf earlier so there is a contradiction why because the the double top is in two time frame making it hard for us to trade it so you can see this trade, even flipping higher time frame and finding out the double top is on monthly and still on weekly was the like the overall reason for me not to do what? To sell. But for me, I never went on monthly, so I did a mistake. So let's continue. And I want to show you mistakes I did in a single chart. There were so many, so many red flags, yet I never saw anything. So many things telling me not to do a one, two, three, yet I didn't do anything. Now let's go to daily, back to daily. So when you go to back to daily, for me, my concentration was support has broke. Support has broke. And let's try to find out this support I am seeing on, uh, on daily, was it there on weekly? Let's go and see, was it there? Was that support there? Do we had a, did we have a red candle that the market we are seeing it has broke? There was actually no support. And that is another mistake. When you have, and this, I think this one I'll do like a video. When support is on one time frame and it's not in another time frame, it means that support is weak. It means that support is weak and you cannot rely on anything that support says. And like one pattern in only one time frame. Now when support or resistance is only on one time frame. But then I'll do that a lesson so that you can understand. So another thing, support, support, support broken was only on daily, which, which made, which made what? It to be weak. So if it is on one time frame, it is a week, a week. A weak support. Imagine. So for me, I'm thinking the support break. Imagine saying, why are you entering Euro Audi cell? 
support has been broken. But on the weekly, there's nothing like support. Can you see this is green, 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 green? There was no support. So that support that was created on the daily, it was just an illusion, an illusion of sellers to get in. You see this, these candles, there's no support. There's no support. These red candles, when you go to weekly, there was no support. So for me, I was so glued on a support that does not exist. That's another mistake. So now I've been told to sell. For me, I knew selling, I can't sell it directly. I have to go to four hour. So I went to four hour to check, am I supposed to sell? So when I went to four hour, so I'm checking, am I supposed to sell on four hour? So this is what I got on four hour. The market had broke and, and it had a, a, a red candle. So I, I knew this market, I gonna, this market gonna sell. So the first thing I did, the first thing I did here, I spotted this. By that time, I knew how patterns behave. So I spotted this, this green candle and I knew if I need to sell, maybe the market tapped there. The market tapped there. So what I did, I entered one trade. You see the way you enter one trade because you're thinking, will even the market come here? So the mistake was, I entered a sale too early because I thought we live in the market go there. Because for me, I thought, ah, every time frame is telling me to sell. So my first position was there. And then I started to observe the market. So I was waiting for the market to hit my take profit. I've told you, let me show you. I have said, for me, I knew if the market breaks, if the market breaks like this, it was coming to the next support. That's what I knew. By back then. So I placed one position, and that is the, the bad thing to do. You don't place a position if you're not sure of. If you have decided, let the market retrace back so that I can enter. So I did one position, and now I was waiting. I was waiting for the market to, <clears throat> to go down. So the market, instead of going down, automatically, you see, I ignored another thing. On four hour, the market gave me one indecision candle plus a spinning top. So I ignored this indication of the market is indecision. So that's another mistake. Because when candle prints, that's price action. It is telling you what to do. But you see, for me, I was like, ah, this is just um, the market will, 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 will eventually sell. So there is no way, there is nowhere I was, I was um, getting that indication of an indecision candle. So you can see that trade, that single trade I would have entered, I entered, I would have closed it. You see now, every time the market will speak to you, this market was speaking to me. Can you see? That market was speaking to me. So there is a way I knew this market uh, at the end of the day, it is gonna, it's gonna sell. So I didn't have any issue, but one to me, the market ranged. And as I predicted, the market went to activate that double top. Now, you see, by that time, I could not tell exactly why was the market going up. But if at all I knew about the dragonfly on weekly, if I knew the double top is hard to trade on an uptrend, if I knew this pattern has a double top on monthly, I could not, I could have known why the market is buying. So it creates for me already the first trade I'm in drawdown. So, and I was drawdown of $158. So for me, the first trade, if I'm not sure, I always put it a very small lot. The 0 0.01. So I was like negative $15. Now the market has activated a double, has activated a double top. By this time, I didn't even knew uh, this is a possible double top. I didn't know 
that are double top on one time frame. So there's no way I used that uh, upon myself. So I never knew the importance of double top on one time frame. I didn't know that double top on one time frame. So that's another thing that was I didn't know. Like I will not even flip. I, that was because if I knew, I would not have even traded that double top on weekly because it was still available on the monthly. So you see now, these things, if you know, you will still apply it on four hour. It keeps on, you keep on advancing. So when, when I checked my half, when I checked my half, I realized that this market had not done even RBS. There was no RBS. And you see, for me, I don't trade patterns, double tops. So I don't take them serious, patterns that don't have RBS. You see, now I would have been saved from this trade again. Knowing, for me, knowing now RBS is important, I will not have entered this trade. In fact, knowing the way I exit my trades, I exit using indecision candle. So that red, uh, that cell candle I've, I've exited. And then I come get activation. I'll still not trade because there was no RBS. So there are no RBS. And I told you guys, RBS strategy is what I teach in my mentorship program. So if you want to buy the course, or you want to come to a physical class, you can do that. Now, the market has activated. For me, I knew about CRB, CSB and CRB, so I had to I had put that uh, line there. So for me, I was hoping the market, I'll start stacking in trades. Because when I looked at this chart, I knew it will do, a, it will do what? It will do a complete double top. You see, the way market does a complete double top, so I'm giving you my thoughts back then and what I have discovered. And that's why I'm saying, if you keep watching my videos, I will make you unlearn what you know and learn the new things that will work for you. So that's what I'm doing. And that's the purpose of this video. So as we were waiting there, as I was, as I was waiting, so the market comes and, and breaks the current support. And for me, I was so happy because I knew the first take profit will be hit, short position. So I enter short position. Mind you, my take profit is still at the neckline. Why? Because for me, my analysis, even I had that assumption, but there, there's another thing, guys, I, I have not said my mistake was. Another mistake I was doing, if I have found a confirmation from daily, I used to ignore anything on four hour. So do you know where my target was? My target was back to, you see the support we saw, my target was always like, I don't know how even I was trading. I was like, I knew the market is coming to that area. For some reason, I ignored everything for our sales, like the take profit area, like the, like I just ignored, which is very wrong because the market will still go in bits. So I didn't have a stop loss. So don't, don't ask where I put stop loss. For me, I didn't even have a stop loss. So when the market comes and gives me, if I, if only, if only uh, I had put the half, I would have been taken out. So I'm still holding this trade and it has broken half. I added more position. The, the, the first thing that you need to understand, any double top, that has no RBS, even if it breaks half, you don't enter. Because double tops that has no RBS, they are always a trap. So I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So I entered, I start more so here is where I overrisked a lot. I overrisked. And now I was hoping for the market to sell. So immediately it breaks, the market goes up. I want to go quickly. The market goes up and by the time it is coming down, I'm frustrated. I'm thinking, what is happening? Another mistake I did, I, these are so many mistakes. Another mistake I did, I never knew that if a double top half is broken and the market goes up, they can use that position. You see, they can use this position to do what? Like a double bottom. So I never knew that this market can use this market as a double bottom. And another mistake again, this, this trade was full of mistakes. Let me tell you, if I can only analyze how you're trading, I can spot out so many mistakes you're doing. And that's why you, you are blocked 
from your goal. You can see at resistance, there were so many attempts. So can I ask you, imagine you are trying to kick a door with all your effort, like you try to kick, you kick. You now you start kicking with your leg. Now you go for something heavy and start kicking. Eventually, if you continue like that, that door will fall down. So this is a door of resistance. The market is kicking this door, kicking, kicking. And eventually, what could have come to my mind was a resistance, if it is tested most many times, it now changes to a double top and becomes a ranging market. So this one had moved from a double top to a ranging. This was a ranging and I didn't know that this market has changed from a double top to a ranging. Why? Because the ranging market is what the market is failing to break a certain area. So I even ignored that the market can come, activate a double bottom, you see, and then the market goes up. Still, I'm ignorant. I'm saying market will sell and I don't know where I got this sell idea because in the first place, it was bad. So um, trading, trading, activation. I can't even notice that a possible double. I'm so blinded. Like, let me tell you, when you don't have the truth when you're trading, when you don't have the truth, you, you trade like, I don't know. The truth is what help us to trade always. So I'm not even aware that a possible double bottom has been activated. And this is the overall neckline of that double bottom. I'm still blinded. And I don't know that this double bottom, if they break half, if they break half, why? Because the same double bottom has RBS. The double bottom that we are discussing has RBS. So the, the double top didn't have RBS, but the double bottom, for some reason, they give RBS. And you see, I have said, when we have RBS, it means this market is a guarantee. So it was a guarantee. Even just knowing, imagine when the market was here, I knew all those stuff. I knew it has a double bottom. It has RBS. This market has to come up. I would have canceled all the trades. I would have canceled even the trade that was around here. So I don't do anything. In fact, because I'm stacking in trades and the market is going, I'm in big profits. I can do away with small negatives and call it a day, but I didn't. And let me show you. The market gets rejected. You can see it's getting rejected. Come back and breaks. You can see the half is broken. Another signal. I didn't pay attention. When half breaks of a double bottom, you, you need to exit. So when this half is breaking, I know for sure that this market now, it's on a mission to do what? It's on a mission to go to the neckline. And if the neckline now is broken, the market will go that distance all along. And that's how I blew that account because I didn't know that this market would go all the way. You see, you are trading a sell very well from daily and the market shifts in your eyes and you cannot even tell. They, you cannot even realize. And that is the most frustrating thing. We lose in the market without knowing. And God is giving you this channel to always come and follow my videos, follow my teachings, follow my setups, follow my analysis so that you don't lose again because you have been losing for a very long time and it's time to stop losing. So I didn't know that if this market happens to break that neckline or the channel, it's going to go up. And now I'm stuck in trades and I'm being given last opportunities come out. And you know, I'm not even aware, another mistake I did, I'm not aware that this area is a double bottom a possible double bottom. So if I fail to come out on all these areas, if the market still tap at that zone, which it did, that was now my overall. Come out, Esther, come out. This market, you're going to blow your account. If you keep selling this market, it doesn't want you to sell. Come out. But I didn't hear. I didn't listen. So the market goes. And you see, this small double top, there's another warning. If the market breaks that neckline, you're in trouble, Esther, come, close all your trades. Close all those trades. So the market gives me opportunity to rethink. And this was this was it. The, 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 small, double top, the small double bottom starts to break the neckline. And I'm thinking, ah, this market, the way they, they have been rejecting here, they will still reject. Imagine such ignorance. 
And as I was waiting, the market went up. And I knew if it comes to half, because they had over a lot, I am blowing that account. And without even realizing, my account was gone like that. What was the mistake done? The mistake done, guys, let's see if the TP was hit. The TP was hit for the right channel. So the channel was the pattern that they wanted to use. So how many patterns did they use? I told you, anytime on four, you see a double top. Don't be very excited. Look for the second pattern. So we have pattern one, a double top. This one I just knew the other day. And that's what I'm using. I have a pattern one. Pattern two, what is it? A double bottom. Can you see a double bottom? Pattern two was a double bottom. Because after double top, it forms the first pattern and then the second one, a double bottom. So this is pattern two. But this double bottom, this double bottom started to, to range. So the ranging was the that pattern and what they had, what they were waiting for was P3. So P3 worked perfectly. So first pattern is always a, 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 you are being driven away. You're being driven away. So for me, after seeing all this, I told God, open my eyes. I don't want ever to be in a place. That's why God opened my eyes. I now know that I cannot trade a pattern that is in both time frames. I now know that a pattern without RBS, I don't trade it. Like I can't trade any double tops without RBS. Why? Because that market is just, it, it is just, crazy and mysterious. The minute I spot it has no RBS, I am extra careful trading it. I don't ignore it completely, but I'm extra careful trading it. And then when I spot my double tops changes from double top to triple top to multiple attempts, automatically it triggers, it triggers a what? It triggers a ranging channel. Another thing, I am not aware that any zone, anywhere, anytime, a possible double bottom can shift to be a possible double top. And this market can interchange like clothes. Every time I see the market, I see a million. And I have to keep up with the color. Today it is red. Tomorrow it is blue. The other day is green. So this is what I did. The mistake I did was to, uh, was to trade was to trade without that pattern. And eventually, guys, let me tell you, eventually this market sold. Eventually the market sold. The market sold. So let me show you how the market sold. Eventually it is sold. And I'll show you, I'll share with you. After um, you know, when you're taken out, after you're taken out, that's when the market sells. So I'll show you what happened after I'm taken out. So eventually. What I wanted, we will see. Did it hit what I wanted? Did it hit the zones that I was saying? Did the market go to the zones that I was saying it will go? So you can see the market finished to that double top. You see the first double top that I see, the market went up to that area. The question is, why did this market sell? When now I was not involved, when I was like, ah, I will not get involved. Why did this market sell all this way? So many peeps, but he failed. That's a, that's a question we'll answer in another video. And I will show you how now to enter effectively, have good entries. And when I say mistakes I did so that you can avoid, you need to watch those videos. Why? These are mistakes that you're doing right now. You need to be watching this segment. Why? Because this is what exactly you're doing. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this video has helped you. I hope you will learn from it and don't do my mistakes. I'm here to help you not repeat what I did. Thank you and good day. Love you.